So in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate functions of a form ax plus b to a power of n. We'll look at positive and negative powers. We'll also look at fractional powers. So we'll begin with question a, where we, where we have the integral of x plus 8 to a power of 10 integrated with respect to x. So we know two things on the integrated powers. We know we add one to the power, and we also know that integration is the opposite of differentiation. So we're going to use these two facts. We'll start by saying let y equal x plus 8 to the power of 11. So this 11 is the 10 add 1. When we add 1 to the power, we get the 11 here. So the next thing we're going to do, and I could have chosen any letter. I've chosen Y because it's convenient. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to differentiate this. So dy by dx will be, and using the chain rule, we have 11 lots of x plus 8 to the power of 10. So 11 times this, take away 1 from the power. And then we multiply this by the derivative of the inner function. Again, using the chain rule. And the derivative of x plus 8 is 1. So we multiply this by 1. So dy by dx will equal 11 lots of x plus 8 raised to the power of 10. So you can see our derivative looks a little bit like our integral, apart from this 11, this multiple of 11. So we need to cancel out this multiple of 11, which we can do by multiplying this by 1 over 11. So this 1 over 11 multiplied by the 11 will cancel to make 1, and we have one lot here. So the integral will be 1 over 11 lots of x plus 8 to the power of 11 plus the constant c. Okay? Let's try question b. So in question b, we're going to integrate 2x minus 4 to a power of negative 2 with respect to x. So again, we need to begin by adding 1 to this power. So we'll say let y equal 2x minus 4 to a power of negative 1. Then we'll differentiate this function. So dy by dx, using the chain rule, we have negative 1 times, so negative 1, lots of 2x minus 4. And then we'll take away 1 from this power, so it becomes negative 2. And then we need to multiply it by the derivative of this inner function. And the derivative of 2x minus 4 is 2. So we'll multiply this by 2. So dy by dx will be minus 2 lots of 2x minus 4 to the negative 2. And now we need to scale this, so this derivative looks like this integral. So we're going to multiply this by negative 1 half. Can you see that this negative 2 times the negative 1 half will give us this 1 here? Okay? So our integral will be negative 1 half lots of 2x minus 4 raised to a power of negative 1. Okay, let's try question 2. Okay, so for example 2, we've been asked to integrate y with respect to x. And then for question A, we've been told that y is the square root of 2x plus 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write this using powers. So we'll have the integral of 2x plus 1 to a power of 1 half integrated with respect to x. So we need to add 1 to this power. We can say let t equal 2x plus 1 to the 3 over 2. And now we're going to differentiate t. So dt by dx will be dropping this power down to make 3 over 2. Lots of 2x plus 1. And then we'll take away 1 from this power and we get 1 half. 
but using the chain rule, we need to multiply it by the derivative of the inner function, which in this case is 2. So we'll multiply this by 2. So we can tidy this up. dt by dx. Well, this division and multiplication of 2 will cancel. So we've got three lots of 2x plus 1 to the 1 half. But now we need to scale this derivative so it matches our integral. So we need to cancel out this multiplication of 3. So we'll multiply this by 1 third. And then the derivative will match the integral. So the integral will become 1 third of 2x plus 1 to a 3 over 2 plus the constant c. Okay? So do you want to try and integrate question B with respect to x? You can pause the video, and when you come back, we'll go through the work solution. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So we'll just block this off over here, and we'll say we want the integral of 1 minus 4x, and this cube root we can write as a power of 1 third, which we'll integrate with respect to x. Now we'll add 1 to this power, so we'll have let t equal 1 minus 4x to the 4 over 3. Then we'll differentiate this, so dt over dx will be 4 over 3, lots of 1 minus 4x. We'll take away 1 from the power, so we get 1 third. And using the chain rule, we'll multiply it by the derivative of the inner function, which is this negative 4. So this becomes dt over dx is equal to negative 16 over 3, lots of 1 minus 4x to the 1 third. So now we need to scale this so it matches our integral. So we need to multiply this by its reciprocal. So we'll multiply it by 3 over negative 16. And then these two will cancel. So we're left with the integral will be 3 over 16, or negative 3, lots of 1 minus 4x to the 4 over 3 plus the constant c. Okay, we'll just try one more question. Okay, so for our final question, we're going to integrate 6 plus 1 to the power of minus 3 between the limits of 0 and 1. So we'll start with our integral. We have the integral between 0 and 1 of 6x plus 1 to the minus 3 with respect to x. We'll add 1 to this power, so y is equal to 6x plus 1 to the minus 2. Then we'll differentiate this. So dy by dx will be minus 2, lots of 6x plus 1. Take away 1 from the power, and then we'll multiply this by the derivative of the inner function, which is 6. So dy by dx is minus 12, lots of 6x plus 1 to the minus 3. Now we need to scale it so it matches our integral. So we're multiplying this by negative 1 over 12. So this gives us our integral of minus 1 over 12, lots of 6x plus 1 to the minus 2, between the limits of 0 and 1. So I'm going to write this as a fraction to make it simpler. So we have negative 1 over 12 lots of 6x plus 1 squared, again between the limits of 0 and 1. So we'll input our limits. We have negative 1 over 12. The 1 is times by 6 to make 6, add 1 is 7. So we'll get times 49, which is 7 squared, minus... Again, for negative 1 over 12, we put the 0 in, that becomes 0, 1 squared, which is 1, so minus negative 1 over 12. And then, this negative and a negative become a positive, 
we have negative 1 over 12 times 49 plus 1 twelfth. And we can easily work this out on our calculators. We have negative 1 over 12 times 49 plus 1 over 12, which gives us 4 over 49. Okay? So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. You can download the full lesson and worksheet on my website if you click on the link below in the description. Thanks again, and take care.